This video is kindly sponsored by OneFootball. If you guys want the best football app to keep up with your team's fixtures, scores and results, make sure you download the OneFootball app. OneFootball brings you guys live updates so you know the exact score in your team's games. And also in the transfer window, you get live updates on transfer rumours and also when your team signs players. The link to download the OneFootball app is in the first line of the description. It's available on iOS and Android. Make sure you guys go and download it right now and let's get into the video. Welcome back to another video guys and in today's video we're going to talk about a third signing of the summer transfer window. So today we've going to sign Matt Doherty, he's a right back from Wolves who's 28 years old for £15 million. Matt Doherty has been at Wolves since 2010 and throughout the time he's been there he's got over 300 appearances. Obviously this includes very valuable Premier League appearances so he's ready for the league so he can fit straight into our team hopefully. Matt Doherty has been brought in to basically replace Aurier's position because he's been making many mistakes in recent years, as you guys would have known, giving away silly penalties, red cards, and also at times Aurier's work rate can be very poor. I do think that Matt Doherty is a good signing and a good replacement for Aurier. However, when you look at their stats comparing each other, there's not much in it really, and if anything, they look very equal. You can even see that a couple of Aurier stats are much better than Matt Doherty's. We need a right back that can stick back and defend because that's not what Aurier has been doing. However, Matt Doherty is quite creative and he does go forward. So I just hope that Jose Mourinho could discipline him so he can stay back and actually defend and hopefully keep more clean sheets next season. Jose Mourinho loves to defend, so hopefully he can implement this into Doherty's game and he can become an even better player at Tottenham. So yeah, this is a third signing of the summer transfer window. I'm happy with this signing. It's the first defender we've signed so far and hopefully a couple more to come because we definitely need them ready for next season. Tottenham have just finished three pre-season games, which were pretty easy to be honest, against Ipswich, Reading and Birmingham, winning them all. Not much of a competition really, but at least the players are getting a bit of a pre-season, keeping the fitness nice and high. And also it gives a chance for the young players to get in and get some minutes. Also, news has come out recently that Ndombele and Paul Pogba have COVID-19. So hopefully they can recover quickly and get back playing football. Obviously, Ndombele is a quality player. He just hasn't had the chance to show it at Tottenham recently. So hopefully he can get to full fitness and stay for next season and become the midfielder that we know he is. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe down below or post notifications on so you get notified whenever I upload a video. We've got less than a week until the Premier League season is back. So the videos are going to be coming back, guys. So yeah, see you in the next video and come on you Spurs.